Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Ashton Corners. Today, uh, just taking a look at the cows here, I did get uh, some straw put into our uh, Angus cattle. And I did feed our Holsteins as well. So we uh, should see some good productivity out of those guys. So we've got a lot of changes that have been made. Uh, so I will run you guys through those changes here really quick. <clears throat> Just uh, driving around in the uh, OBS here. We're going to pull right up here. So we've got a few things in this area here. First of all, up in this building here, uh, I did find a older John Deere 34 manure spreader. Um, and then... This isn't quite older. Uh, I mean, it is older. It's not quite this era. But uh, it'll have to do for now. The uh, Noon Magnum 4000 uh, slurry tank. So we've got those up here in this building. And then if we pop into this building here. So we have these silos here. Uh, I just look. I just brought our truck over. And I tried dumping, and I cannot get a dump spot. I don't know if maybe you got to have an auger or something like that for this. But I went ahead, and uh, we took out a loan. We are $250,000 in debt. But we did purchase some things. So here we have the Versatile TD8 uh, 54 auger. And then we have the John Deere 398 auger. We also picked up this Haybuster H1130. This is also not really quite uh, correct to this era, but there's really limited options for grinders. Um, and I'm one, I like to grind my hay. I don't like to uh, necessarily just put a bale in the feed wagon and roll with it so kind of had to do what uh, we had to do there um, and then there's also some changes up here so first off I did find a little more old-school roller uh, it's a lot smaller but it will work uh, this is the lizard wheeled roller off the uh, Giants Mod Hub and did a little bit of rearranging. I moved the 4400 over here. Uh, we've still got our Alice Park there. And then I did get the uh, Traction King and the Chisel put away up here. And then down here, I finally found the feeder that I thought that I had downloaded, but I apparently didn't. Um, it's the Kelly Ryan uh, feeder wagon. So I picked that up and uh, sold off our other one and got that. And then if we run over here, um, where our chopper is sitting. We have the Gel. Uh, chopper box, uh, Case IH Farms, thank you for um, sending the link to that chopper box. Um, and then I do have the 4960 sitting down there. Uh, we're going to jump into that here. We just have one more thing to go take a look at up here. And then we are all caught up. So... We have extended this yard up here, and we have 10 of the uh, Wasteel Roscoe bins. So we should have enough room for storing all of our crops, hopefully. Uh, we should be pretty set there. So we're going to go ahead and jump into some tillage. We're only going to be tilling uh, or cultivating, however you want to say it, we're only going to be cultivating uh, fields 19 and 25 for right now because uh, those are the fields that wheat is going into. 
and uh, we wheat is uh, ready to be planted now so we're going to go ahead and uh, jump right into it so we're gonna try and see if we can get uh, this field either done or mostly done today and we are getting way off track here um, so yeah we with this series I am not going to be using course play and I'm also not using GPS just because a lot back in this time frame not a lot of things had GPS on them, so um, going to be a lot more manual labor on this series. I know some people enjoy that a little more than, you know, having course play or hired workers, uh, stuff like that. So um, I did have a lot of very good feedback on yesterday's video. A lot of people are uh, very excited for this series. Uh, I myself am one of them. Uh, I think this is going to be kind of fun uh, to start way down at the bottom here, start off old school and work our way up through the years and through the changes in equipment and different sizes of equipment and just work our way up. Uh, I think that's going to be kind of a neat thing. Uh, I mean, usually a lot of the time on most series uh, we will have some kind of older equipment but it's still not quite uh, down to this scale and so it's kinda nice to just kinda sit back and we're gonna start off with this and um, I mean a lot of our series that we've been doing we haven't run any cows yet so um, it'll be kind of nice running those as well. So I think I think this series is going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, our other fields we won't be worrying about uh, doing any tillage on anymore until spring. Um, because that's when we're able to plant those other fields. So we are not going to be uh, worrying too much about it. So yeah, I appreciate all the feedback from you guys. Um, it is, like I said, it is really cool to see that, uh, you know, everybody's excited for this series and uh, really looking forward to it. And I am uh, definitely glad to see that. Like I said, I know I am, I personally am very excited for this, so. Um, so today will be the last video of this series for the week. Um, this weekend is going to be Edgewater and then Monday, Tuesday, we'll be back on here and we're just going to kind of alternate. We're going to do two days of Ashton Corners and then two days of Edgewater. Just kind of get a good mix of things going on. And, uh, oh, okay, there are hoses stacked there.
so I am recording this one today here on Friday but I am going to be recording ahead uh, a whole bunch of videos um, I mean I'm probably going to do the next probably week or two uh, worth of videos on this series and on Edgewater and then um, may also throw in some videos on the Lake Chida map that I am working on. We'll see. Um, but I do, I kind of want to get some videos recorded and get ahead on things. Um, because then I want to be able to focus more on spending some time working on my map. Um, just so I can kind of get moving on things. I did, um, I finally got all of the main roadways uh, painted, so now I gotta go back and I gotta do all of my fields and get all of those painted. Um, that way I can get my terrain file brought in and I can uh, start smoothing everything out and then I can start building the map up. I can start adding all my detail in, um, you know, all my road signs, the stop signs, um, all the trees, all the other odds and ends details. I can get fencing put around all of my fields. I can get all the farms added in and all of that kind of stuff. And it's going to be a learning process for me along the way um, because this is the first time I have done anything mapping related with uh, Farm Sim 22 and with the new building uh, or the construction feature of the game um, I want to make it so that you can go in to the construction menu and if you really wanted to you can completely clear out a farm um, potentially I haven't decided if I want to do it that way or if I want to make it so that you can't delete things and then figuring out how I want to set things up, all of that, and then figuring out, you know, getting uh, animals to work because I am going to set up for cattle. Uh, cows are going to be the only animal on the map. There will not be any pigs, anything like that. Just because there really isn't anyone that does pigs around here. Um, I mean, there may be a few people here and there, but nothing really much. Um, and, I mean, in the, I don't know, I guess in the immediate area, there's only one horse ranch that I know of, but it's not in the area of the map so probably not going to be adding in horses or anything like that either so um, if the map does get released uh, I, I'm still undecided if I want to or not and if I do then I gotta get um, I'll have to go through and you know get permissions for some things uh, that will be needed stuff like that um, and then I also got to figure out adding in some extra crops um, like the flax and uh, I want to get the canola swathing added things like that um, you know a few of the features that Edgewater has just because you know like flax is a crop grown here um, you know and some guys do grow canola here as well so I want to get those added in and potentially peas we'll see uh, but lentils I'm not gonna add anything like that and then I want to try and add alfalfa and clover but I want to do it in a way where it actually you know like you can put the bales up but then when you go to dump it in a feed wagon it registers and stuff like that unlike with like UMRV where you can grow and do everything with the alfalfa and clover 
but like the in-game uh, feed wagons, you can't use them with those bale types. So I want to be able to add that in and uh, get it functioning correctly. Things like that, I mean, by no means am I going to be hurrying with this map. I want to take my time. I want to, you know, add a whole bunch of detail. I want to make it a good quality map. And uh, like I said, I, I haven't decided if I want to release it yet or not. Um, but, you know, if I do decide to, I don't want to release something that's half-ass. I want to make it be something good and everything like that. You know, I, wanna, I want it to be decent. Um, you know, I don't want to put out something that's just thrown together and it half-ass works and it's a pile of junk. That, that's not what I want to do, so, um, you know, and it's, it's going to be a lot of work, and it's going to be a lot of testing myself to see how I can do, so, it's up in the air for now, when the map gets closer to completion, then I'll worry about deciding on whether or not I want to release it. Definitely moving right along with this field, which is a good thing. Definitely don't want to be spending forever on uh, cultivating. So today's video we'll be doing this, and then the next video we'll be uh, doing our last field there. And then after that we'll be jumping right on into some seeding. So for the first season, I'm going to be just using that uh, multi-fill silo up there to purchase all of our seed, our fertilizer, our herbicide, all of that stuff. Um, just until we get a little more on our feet. I don't want to take out a huge loan and send us super far into debt. And so I want to keep, I want to hold on to the money that we do have. Um, and it's just a, s just for the simple, uh, simpleness, the simplicity, there we go, <laughs> of, uh, using that silo for this first season, just to kind of get us going on things, and, uh, just so we can kind of get set up and get rolling through this first year. Uh, we're kind of going to be running side by side on some things for a little bit. Uh, between this series and our Edgewater series. I mean, we're uh, right in the midst of planting on Edgewater, and we're jumping into that here. So, um, I mean, we're going to be kind of doing some of the same things uh, for a little bit, but this series we will also have um, a lot of haymaking uh, next season, you know, next summer here. Whereas our other series, we aren't putting up hay or anything, so we're not taking, you know, we're not doing that extra work. So where on this series we'll be putting up hay and stuff, uh, we'll be into harvest on our other series. So kind of a little bit of a mix. I mean, in you know, our other series we're running bigger equipment. I mean, we're running big sprayer, you know, a big pull behind sprayer and you know, we got a big air seeder, bigger combine stuff like that where, you know, we're we're not quite to that area yet on this map. So eventually we will get there, but uh, not quite yet. So we still got about another 10 minutes left of this episode, so we're doing great for time. Uh, we've gotten this whole field cultivated, and we took a look around some of the changes, so we are definitely moving right along, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, get this thing folded up, and we're going to get moved over to field 25 and uh, get rolling on it right away. So we're going to get folded up here. 
Perfect. We're going to get moving and uh, get going to our other field here. All right, perfect. We'll fit under those. Still have areas of the map that are still having to reload after the uh, new patch. That's one thing that always sucks about when the game updates is you got to go through and reload the entire map. And until you do, it just lags like none other. Get everything unfolded here. And then uh, we'll get a jump start on this field right away. So possibly in the next video, we might even start seeding. Because uh, we'll probably have a good portion of this field done uh, by the time we hit the end of the video, so I would uh, be perfectly fine with that. I'm I'm really anxious to get going on this series and get into things, so I'm definitely looking forward to uh, you know moving right along on things. And we do still have a whole lot of work left to do. So I am definitely looking forward to getting rolling and uh, flying through some of these jobs that way we can uh, get rocking on things so now I'm sure as you guys may have noticed in the animals menu um, I don't have any grass in for them the reason for that being, for one, for whatever stupid reason, the feed mixers in 22 do not register regular grass. I don't know why. I think it's kind of dumb. I mean, your animals take it, and you can't use a feed wagon to give it to them. Um, I think if you had, like, a trailer... You know, some kind of dump trailer or something along those lines. And you were able to dump grass into that. I think you could feed it to them. But I'm not 100% sure. So, um, I just figured we're not even going to bother. And any, uh, any of our fields that we bale is all just going to get tedded up and turned into gr uh, hay and then anything that we're going through to um, use for silage we won't bother with it but for anything getting bailed we will be tedding it I think we're maybe going to go around three times. Um, two seemed just a little short on that last field there. So I think we'll, uh, we'll go around three times here. Holy smokes. Tractor is just trying to take off. Go ahead and pop the HUD on here for a second. So I'm going to turn down the uh, cruise control setting. Set it 
a little more reasonable so that way when we uh, turn when we pick up the cultivator we aren't uh, taken off like a bat out of hell missed a little spot there but that's all right This setup is really, really nice. I like this setup here together. Now I had considered looking into a, I know there is like a John Deere, uh, oh, like 500 grain cart or something like that. A very old school John Deere grain cart um, I know there's one that just came out on the in-game mod hub, but there is another one that's been out for a while. It's originally from, like, Farm Sim 13, I think. It's been around for quite a while. And I know that it uh, would fit perfect on this series, but... We don't really have a need for a grain cart right now. Otherwise, I would definitely look into getting it, but that might come further down the road. We'll see. We'll just kind of see where things take us. Um, the only thing, if we had a grain cart, we would either need to hire someone to run our grain cart during harvest or to run our combine. Um... And we can run our truck. So then we have an added expense. And right now we just don't have room to be paying someone to uh, help around here. So we just got to do what we got to do and uh, run things ourselves for now. Which isn't that huge of a deal. Um... I don't think we're running a unbearable operation to run single-handedly, so I think we should be pretty well off here. After you go around this field three times, there's really not that much left to it. Not much at all. So we are nearing the end. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll finish off this third pass around here. And uh, then when we come back in the next video, we'll finish up this field. And uh, actually, I think I'll just finish this field off camera here. Um, just so we can kind of move this series along for this first year. And uh, I will... Yeah, so I will finish this field, and then we'll get, uh, we're going to use the, um, our 5000 series John Deere. Uh, I forget what exactly it is, 5020, I believe. I could be wrong, I don't know. Too many tractors to keep track of, but uh, we're going to use the old 5000 series John Deere on our roller, and then we're going to use the Alice on our uh, drill there. So we will be doing that. Uh, so I will get everything hooked up and get everything ready. And then we also got to get our international out of the shed and get that uh, box filled up with some seed. So that way we can get everything planted. 
So we will uh, go ahead and do that all off camera. So that way the next video we can jump right into planting some winter wheat. But that is going to do it for today, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know everybody that uh, commented on yesterday's video definitely was uh, excited to see it. So I am very glad. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and uh, leave me some feedback on what you guys think of this series and uh, some things you would like to see in the future of it. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll catch you all tomorrow.